Coast to Coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. All right, Robert Tosh Plumley, famous CIA black ops contractor, still operating, was told recently, take your Facebook down or you're going to get it. So he took it down. Now he's being subpoenaed, he's been told. So he's put it back up. It's Robert Tosh Plumley on Facebook. We're going to tweak that leak, uh, that link out uh, when the show ends here in about five minutes to everybody at Real Alex Jones on Twitter. We're going to have it relinked to a new article at Infowars.com. Uh, but, but talk more about how you were threatened and any other final points you'd like to make before they uh, make you testify and then gag you as a witness forever. I'm not going. You guys dragged me back this time. Anyway, let me, uh, the big question, questions they were mostly concerned about when I asked, and this question was asked to me by my source from NATO, who, like I said earlier, uh, worked with a task force down south, and uh, it's a program. Very secret program. But anyway, number 10 on that question, which they seem to be more concerned about, that our ambassador and others, weeks before they were murdered, notify our State Department and CIA that Syrian rebels had obtained U.S. weapons, including Stinger missiles from Jordan, Turkey, Pakistan, shipped, from CIA, shipped to those CIA state houses. Now, they wanted to know how I found out about Jordan and uh, Pakistan. And that came from a sensitive source who works NATO, who was in that region, had been transferred to that region from a, another task force. I have some military contacts that are personal friends because I used to be their pilot. We stay in touch and have stayed in touch for a number of years. So, 11 questions were asked to clarify what we knew beforehand, because from the very beginning, this administration outright lied to us, continues to lie to us, and if anybody will read these 11 questions, they have yet to have been answered in their entirety. And they're very simple questions. My question to you and the audience out there is why won't they answer these questions? Well, by the way, Tosh, because while now, you're talking, we're showing video from last week where the Al-Qaeda rebels are bragging, and it's in mainstream news, they now have the latest Stinger-type missiles to shoot down aircraft, and they're promising to attack America and Israel and other folks with them. But I guess in America and Israel, the people running us, will be able to use this as a way to take our liberties here domestically. What do you think the end game is in arming the Al-Qaeda rebels with service-to-air high-tech high -tech missiles? Uh, I, you know, I have... I, I hit the profit deal. I, you know... I don't really have any, uh, any opinion uh, about what this damn administration's ideas and what the game plan is. I don't think they have any idea what the hell they're doing, in my opinion. So, but uh, the only thing that I was interested in is the fact that they were lying. They were outright lying from the very beginning. And they on and on. And then they were retaliating against military people that were telling other people that they were lying. And then what did they do? They retaliated against the military people and said, hey, wait a minute, we're running guns to these factions. And they said, shut up. And they pulled them out of the field and, and signed them to other uh, positions and made a bad mark on their reputation. Now, this thing's been going on for a number of years. So why am I? I'm not upset about this. I'm just asking one simple question. Where in the hell is our Congress? Where in the hell is our Senate? Ask these 11 questions directly to the State Department and demand answers. These questions are not that damn uh, uh, complicated. No, they're giving right. missiles to Al-Qaeda publicly and firing a bunch of top generals yeah. and low-level people that don't want to be part of it. And the military said no to attacking Syria seven, eight months ago. That's a big victory. And Tosh Plumley, you're a big part of that. And it's Robert Tosh Plumley on Facebook. You have a lot of courage. Obviously, if you don't get the subpoena tomorrow, we want to talk to you again. And I'm glad that you're not going to be following their tyranny. Uh, we need more people like you. Thank you so much for your time, sir. Okay, you guys have to take care and hang in there. You bet. People need to pray for you and all other whistleblowers. I'm going to say a prayer for you, Tosh. I'll say bye to you here at the end, and we'll talk to you again tomorrow. We have more time if you want to do it. I'm Alex Jones. Until tomorrow, support InfoWars.
We are the tip of the spear. We're the real deal. And that's why we're under attack as well. So pray for us and support us. Great job, crew. General, what do you think about the FBI saying that there's a terror alert on Monday about a potential Fort Hood situation? The police are shoving people, shoving Alex, shoving the crowd. Here we go, folks. I'm being assaulted. Whether it's the radio show, the news websites, documentary films, or the nightly news, InfoWars is the tip of the spear. Is this another false flag stage attack to take our civil liberties and put more homeland security while sticking their hands down on the pants on the streets? It's up to us to set brush fires in the minds of men and women everywhere. And that's what PrisonPlanet.we can turn.